She's renowned for her uncompromising stance on immigration. But today, Theresa May's tough talk reached new heights. There are people who need our help and there are people who are abusing our goodwill. And I know whose side I'm on. Announcing an overhaul of the asylum system, the Home Secretary painted a frightening picture for Britain. When immigration is too high, when the pace of change is too fast, it's impossible to build a cohesive society. It's difficult for schools and hospitals and core infrastructure like housing and transport to cope. And we know that for people in low-paid jobs, wages are forced down even further, while some people are forced out of work altogether. Her proposed solution, returning more asylum seekers once their country has become safe again, using alternative ID to speed up deportation if a failed applicant doesn't have a passport, and a crackdown on asylum seekers who rejected other safe countries that they travelled through to reach here. Her strong language may have pleased her party, but it was swiftly branded irresponsible and inflammatory. It is not true that migration to the UK threatens British jobs. On the contrary, it helps to build the economy, a better, stronger, more productive economy that helps everyone living in this country. Peterborough has experienced a large influx of migrants in the last decade, predominantly from Pakistan and Eastern Europe. What do people here think of the Home Secretary's speech? They should be sent back once the, the country is safe. You know, I think we're getting overrun, to be honest. If somebody's here legally, then it's OK. But if they're illegally immigrants, they shouldn't send them back. These people need homes, so it's possible that we have to just try and make way for them, really. English is a second language for almost all of the pupils of this school near the city centre. The head says it can be a strain. There's nobody back at base or at town hall anymore for me to call and say, there's a problem with this. Uh, there simply aren't the resources there to come and solve our problems. We have, schools have to manage that themselves. And for some schools, that is a serious challenge. Many schools like this are working hard to create a cohesive society out of many different cultures. If the Home Secretary has her way, there will be fewer families starting new lives in Britain in the future. Catherine Jones, Five News.